5 p.m. recap. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today is Wednesday, April 14, 2021. CNN report. UN rights chief fears Myanmar heading to full-blown conflict with echoes of Syria. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, has warned Myanmar is heading toward a full-blown conflict with clear echoes of Syria in 2011, unless the international community steps in to stop the violence. In a statement Tuesday, Bachelet urged states to take immediate, decisive and impactful measures to push Myanmar's military leadership into halting its campaign of repression and slaughter of its people. Deutsche Well Report. Coronavirus Digest. Denmark halts AstraZeneca vaccination indefinitely. It was the first nation to suspend administering the shot after initial suspicions that rare types of blood clots were found in some of the vaccine's recipients. Other countries at the time followed suit. However, many have since returned to using the vaccine only for older people. The country temporarily halted the vaccinations on March 11 as a precautionary measure. The decision means the scheduled conclusion of Denmark's vaccination scheme will be in early August rather than July 25 as health authorities had planned. BBC report. Japan. Clock stopped by earthquake restarts 10 years on. Its owner, Bunshun Sakano, then tried to fix the clock, without success. But when a smaller quake hit 10 years later, he says it began working again. On the 11th of March 2011, the temple, which stands a few hundred meters from the coast, was struck by the tsunami's waves with only its pillars and roof spared by the deluge. After the disaster, Mr. Sakano, the temple's head priest, rescued the clock from the debris. CNN report. Egypt impounds ever given ship over $900 million Suez Canal compensation bill. Egyptian authorities have seized a massive cargo ship which blocked the Suez Canal for almost a week last month. Amid a dispute over financial damages, an Egyptian court ordered the vessel's Japanese owner, Shoei Kizan Keisha, to pay $900 million in compensation as a result of losses inflicted when the Panamanian flagged Ever Given prevented marine traffic from transiting through the vital global trade waterway, the state-run Al Aram news outlet said on Tuesday. CNN report. He's not a team player. Republicans steer clear of Gates amid DOJ investigation. House Republicans are doing their best to steer clear of embattled Rep. Matt Gates amid an FBI investigation into whether he broke sex trafficking laws and had sex with a 17-year-old girl. The Republican efforts to keep their distance from Gates also offer him a lifeline within the GOP conference, as he appears safe at the moment from facing retribution within the party unless formal charges are filed. BBC report. The Bachelor star Colton Underwood comes out as gay. Colton Underwood starred in season 23 of the popular U.S. show, which is based around a single bachelor tasked with selecting a wife from a pool of romantic interests, in 2019. He also appeared on spin-offs The Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise. I've ran from myself for a long time. I've hated myself for a long time. He told Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. And I'm gay. And I came to terms with that earlier this year and have been processing it. And the next step in all of this was sort of letting people know. Fox report. Iran's supreme leader. Vienna offers, not worth looking at. Iran's supreme leader on Wednesday dismissed initial offers at talks in Vienna to save Tehran's tattered nuclear deal as, not worth looking at. Attempting to pressure world powers after an attack on the country's main nuclear enrichment site. The comments by Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who has final say on all matters of state in the Islamic Republic came after a day that saw Iran's president similarly ratchet up pressure over the accord. Deutsche Well report. NATO allies agree to leave Afghanistan following U.S. move. NATO allies on Wednesday agreed to wind down their operations in Afghanistan, after President Joe Biden's administration announced all U.S. troops would leave the country by September 11. The U.S. invaded Afghanistan in 2001 following the 9-11 attacks by jihadist organization Al-Qaeda, with other NATO countries also deploying military forces to the South Asian country. NATO allies have decided to start withdrawing resolute support forces by May 1. In an orderly, coordinated and deliberate way, 
NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg announced during a summit in Brussels. BBC report. Dante Wright shooting. Officer Kim Potter to be charged over killing. Officer Kim Potter has said she shot Dante Wright accidentally, having mistakenly drawn her gun instead of her taser. Both she and police chief Tim Gannon have quit the Brooklyn Center Force. The killing has sparked three nights of clashes between police and protesters. The death happened in a suburb of Minneapolis, a city already on edge amid the trial of a white ex-police officer accused of murdering African-American George Floyd. Al Jazeera report. Hunger striking U.S. activists demand end to Yemen blockade. Ayman Saleh has not eaten anything in 17 days. The 26-year-old Yemeni American and her younger sister, Muna, came to Washington, D.C. late last month from the U.S. state of Michigan to draw attention to the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, where a war has raged for six years. Going on a hunger strike was a symbolic choice, Saleh told Al Jazeera. As millions of Yemenis are living under the threat of widespread famine amid the ongoing conflict. Al Jazeera report. Eritrean troops open fire in Tigray's Adwa, kill three. Rights group. Eritrean soldiers have opened fire on civilians in Ethiopia's embattled Tigray region, killing three people and wounding at least 19, according to Amnesty International. In a statement on Wednesday. The rights watchdog said the unprovoked attack took place in the center of Adwa town early on Monday, more than two weeks after Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said Eritrea had agreed to withdraw the forces it had sent into the northern Ethiopian region during the conflict that broke out there in November 2020. Fox report. North Wales town taken over by large herd of goats. Get out of here, goats. During the past year, the pandemic has had a massive impact on people's lives across the world, oftentimes in unexpected ways. For example, one town in North Wales has been taken over by a large herd of goats. Normally, the Kashmiri goats near the town of Landidno would receive contraceptive injections in order to keep their numbers down. Southwest News Service, SWNS, reports. Fox Report. California promotes dismantling racism in math guidance in draft for statewide framework. A California-based group is sounding the alarm as the state education department considers implementing a framework that promotes controversial ideas about race and mathematics. The pathway to equitable math instruction caught attention in February when Fox News reported on Oregon defending the program, which advises, among other things, that the focus on finding the right answer is an example of white supremacy infiltrating classrooms. CNN report. A former student sues the University of Evansville over sexual assault allegations against former basketball coach. A former student athletic trainer at the University of Evansville filed a lawsuit against the Indiana school, alleging sexual assault and a pattern of sexual harassment by former basketball head coach, Walter McCarty. According to the suit, the suit alleges that McCarty, a former NBA player, pressured the unnamed plaintiff, dubbed Jane Doe, into visiting him in his home in December 2019, where he allegedly assaulted her, and that the University of Evansville knew of McCarty's insidious pattern of sexually harassing and assaulting other women at the university but failed to act appropriately. Deutsche Well Report. U.S. QAnon followers tied to Capitol riot arrested, FBI says. Several advocates of the QAnon conspiracy theory have been placed in custody for charges related to the breaching of the U.S. Capitol, FBI Director Christopher Wray said at a Senate hearing on Wednesday. We have arrested at least five self-identified QAnon adherents related to the January 6 attacks specifically, Wray told the Senate Intelligence Committee. He said the FBI was planning to release a public report on domestic threats from QAnon soon. Fox Report Texas dad drowns while saving two sons from riptide. My soul has been ripped from my body, wife says. A Texas father who drowned while saving his two sons from a strong riptide over the weekend is being hailed as a hero. Josh Graham was on a Saturday family outing with his wife, Angela, and their children at Surfside Beach, located 65 miles south of Houston, when the boys, Bruno, 13, and 10-year-old Sawyer, got caught in a riptide 50 feet offshore. We lost the love of my life, my soulmate, the best father to my son and stepsons, 
a loving son and brother, grandson, nephew, cousin and a dear friend to so many. Angela Graham wrote on Facebook. Al Jazeera report U.S. stocks and mixed despite stellar bank earnings Wall Street indexes closed mixed on Wednesday with the Nasdaq Composite and S&P 500 falling despite another record intraday high for the latter and big banks stellar results on the first day of earnings season shares of Goldman Sachs Group Inc. and Wells Fargo and Co. rose on bumper first quarter profits Goldman capitalized on record levels of global deal-making activity and Wells reduced bad loan provisions and got a grip on costs tied to its sales practices scandal. Thank you for watching 5 p.m. recap. To be notified, you can subscribe our channel and activate the bell.